Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Right now I am playing Rocket League on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac using the crossover version of the game running through Heroic. So if you didn't already know, crossover is a way of running Windows games on Apple Silicon hardware. And Heroic is an open source replacement for Epic Games Launcher and GOG Galaxy. Those launchers can't be run through crossover. However, Heroic takes its place and replaces all those functions and allows it to run officially with crossover. So this tutorial is going to show you the entire process of installing crossover installing Heroic and also getting Epic Games and GOG games working on M1 Apple Silicon Mac hardware. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So if you follow the link at the top of the description and then you scroll down and then you press the buy now button here what you're going to see is the new price. However if you type in the promo code Apple Gaming Wiki and then the arrow button you're going to be able to get a 25% discount and this actually comes out cheaper than the original pricing from earlier in the year. Also once you've made a purchase you can go into your account and then go to my account here. If you click on support licenses and then you find your current license and click renew now, you'll be able to get $40 off your renewal price too. You can also do this renewal multiple times and renew many years into the future at a discounted rate. Just remember to come back to our affiliate link as we'll receive a small commission for every purchase and renewal. So today we're going to be installing the free trial. So once you've clicked on the link, then what we're going to do is to type in our name and email address and then we're going to press download trial now. So once Crossover 22 starts downloading, so within Finder, we're going to go to Crossover and then we're going to move this into our Applications folder. And within Applications, we're going to go down and find the Crossover application and then double click. Here we're going to press Open and now we have Crossover installed. So then we're going to click on Home and then click on Bottle on the top left hand side here and click New Bottle. And here we're going to select a Windows 7 64-bit bottle. This is the bottle settings that are recommended by Code Weavers directly. And then we're going to call this bottle Heroic. And this is going to make it easier for the Heroic application to find this bottle. Press Create. Let that create this new bottle. So any settings that you apply here are going to be carried over when we run crossover through Heroic. So the next thing we'll need is Heroic Games Launcher. And this is basically an alternate launcher for Epic Games and GOG. So we're going to go to this page. We're going to press download. Then we're going to download the macOS version of Heroic. Here's the stable version 2.4.3. We're going to download that now. So the next thing to do is go back to our downloads folder. We're going to open up Heroic, double click. And then we're going to move this into our applications folder. Just drag and drop and then put it in applications. Click on applications and then we're going to scroll down and double click on Heroic. If it says here that it can't be opened, then what you need to do is to hold down the control key and then click on Heroic to open up this context menu. Click open and this is going to bypass Gatekeeper. You can press open again to manually open this application. So once Heroic Games is open, we're going to be met with this login screen, which you can get to on the left sidebar here. So what we need to do now is to go ahead and press the login button here and I'm going to log into my Epic Games account. So here I'm going to sign in with Epic Games or you have a different sign in method and just type in your email address and password. Then we're going to enter our two-factor sign-in code. And now we have logged into our Epic Games account. So to log into your GOG account, just press the login button here. And then we're going to enter our GOG username and password and then press login now. And once we've logged into our account, we can go to library. So once we're logged into our account, you can see in the library, we're free to download the Windows version of any games from GOG or Epic Game Store. Today, I'm going to be showing you Rocket League as an example of a game that runs pretty well on Epic Game Store through Heroic through Crossover. So all we need to do is to find the Rocket League entry in our library, click on it, and then we can go ahead and click the install button. And then we can press the install button here and it's going install within games heroic folder. So just press install and then wait for this to complete its download. So the way that crossover interacts with heroic is that if you go to the settings of heroic, you can go down to the crossover section in the sidebar and you can see here that we can select a version of crossover that's specific to the one that we downloaded. And we can also select a crossover bottle as well. So we only have one bottle at the moment. However, make sure that this is filled with the word heroic because that is going to directly relate to the heroic bottle within crossover. And this means that whenever you launch a game, it's going to be launched through the heroic bottle. So before you launch Rocket League, there are two ways to actually run the game. So what you're going to need to do is to open up Crossover and then look at our Heroic bottle. If you look on the right hand column, we can turn on DXVK or we can turn it off. So if you turn it on, the game is going to run faster and it's going to have better performance. However, the main issue is that we don't have name tags enabled. These are invisible on the DirectX to Molten VK version of this game. However, if we turn this off, then we are going to get the Wine D3D version. It's going to run slower. The frame pacing might be a little bit off. However, the name tags are going to be able to show up. So it's up to you to choose which one you prefer. Also, this is a good time to set up controllers too. So if you go to system settings and then Bluetooth, and today I'm going to pair my DualSense controller by holding down the share button and the PlayStation Home button so that it starts flashing like this. Once it starts flashing, you'll see it appear on your nearby devices. Just press connect. 
And now that this light is solid, then this is all paired up with the Mac. So today we're gonna launch with the XVK turned on. And then within Heroic, now that Rocket League is fully downloaded, we can press play and then the game's gonna launch. Here I'm just gonna change my resolution to 1080p and full screen. And we'll put this in performance mode. So I full screen the game now and we're doing a search for a casual game. So this is how you get Rocket League working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac using Heroic and Crossover 22. This is also capable of running plenty of other games through Epic or GOG using the same system. So for example here I've got Shadow Warrior 2 from GOG running great through Heroic on Crossover 22. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.